I can't remember when I wasn't aware of David's work, actually. I know the moment I became aware of your work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I think it's because I live in Fort Greene, so I always used to walk by Lorna Simpson's house. So that was one kind of awareness. But then in, I think it was in 2016, I had an exhibition at the MCA Denver. That's right. Uh, which was your first museum Correct. in North America. So that was, I think, when I became intimately <laughs> aware of your work. Yes. Beautiful. One of the things that excited us from the first time you came to the studio, mm -hmm. and I don't know if this is what you took away, but I'm curious about how these surfaces will interact, the marble and also the surface of the paintings that's mm -hmm. like graffiti, but it's also like a fresco, like totally. the wall has been washed and mm -hmm. it's kind of disappearing as you look at it. Mm -hmm. No, I, I'm super curious about that too. I mean, I think that, you know, I've chosen the stones because of their, you know, for me, their geological writings, Yes, you know, right. their geological marks sure. really in the way that gravity creates those lines. And I'm sort of interested to see how that compression will work with the kind of expansion and compressions that you're making in your work. Absolutely. I wonder what you think in relationship to this notion of the universal mm -hmm. and the language that the paintings are pregnant with, mm -hmm. we are not. And here I'm sort of throwing back to Julius Eastman and this language as a kind of a prompt for your attention, mm -hmm. to pay attention, a mm -hmm. kind of geometry of attention. Mm -hmm. And I, th I think that's exactly what I hope the language we are, we are not, mm -hmm. does in the space of the painting. Mm -hmm. Is it, it's speaking to you, right? this notion of a universal us, a universal you, and this tension between the individual and the collective. I took a, if I can say, I took a lot of inspiration from your ability to to make form, but also to disaggregate form. Mm. You know, there are three pyramids that yes. are being formed, but the three pyramids disaggregate in the sense that they become four triangles. They make a void as well as making a solid, and they can become seats, or yes, they can just disaggregate right. completely. Yes. And I think that to disaggregate the kind of what I call the primary form mm. is part of just bringing it back to us. Absolutely. In a strange way, your work is creating a kind of, you know, if you think about these things being pulled apart mm -hmm. and creating this, these seats, this space, the space for people. Exactly. That it is for us. Yes. It's for the we, the exactly. we in all of us. So true. The power of abstraction, and if you look at the history of abstraction, formally not just the history of it as a kind of mark-making strategy, it becomes the device that is able to bring the many into a kind of singular idea. Mm. And I think that that invention that for me happened in Africa is misunderstood profoundly, misnamed primitivists and all this kind of nonsense, but actually was the beginning of a kind of code mm. of kind of dealing with diversity and dealing with multiplicity. So abstraction is for me the natural agent of form making for the 21st century as we move ever more closer to each other and get more complicated and messy. I think the language that I attach to it would be modes and mechanisms, methods mm -hmm. of abstraction and representation. Mm -hmm. I am, I would even say we are, mm -hmm. fighting for the right to exist in and through abstraction. And I always think that that's actually an ethical imperative. You know, That's certainly what I'm fighting for. Mm -hmm. And if there is a kind of politics to my work, mm -hmm. that would be one of the main thrust of it. Amazing. So it's ultimately an ethical and freedom. Yes, uh, it's a notion of freedom. freedom. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. Which is the most profound thing that is the contested space. Yes. Uh, it's as el elusive as love. As love. Yes. Absolutely. Beautiful.